Hello and welcome back to Will It Work? Today we're going to look at two competing interfaces that dominated for decades when it came to attaching your hard disk or other physical media to your computer, that of SCSI and IDE, and we'll see which ones can connect to the iPod photo. Now I've brought out my old jazz drive here, and I did a series of videos on SCSI devices and the iPhone about six months ago, and I used this SCSI to USB adapter back here, and it's been great. It works with everything. It's truly plug and play. It doesn't need any drivers. It works on Mac and Windows just like you'd expect. It worked on the iPhone and all those videos I did. But it also works on any consumer device that I've thrown at it. My LG TV, Sony Blu-ray player, and even my son's $100 synthesizer, which has a little USB port for playing MP3 files. So it's just been great. So let's see if it works with the iPod Photo. Turn on the jazz drive here. Put in the disc. Wake up the iPod photo here, which will go in the importation mode. Put in the USB connection. Yep, absolutely nothing. And we don't even get the unsupported device error message. That usually happens when the iPod recognizes what the USB device is and doesn't want to deal with it, like a mouse, a keyboard, a USB hub, or when the device is asking for too much power, which is common on modern devices that charge over USB. Back when this came out, this camera adapter for the iPod photo, it was mostly designed for digital cameras that charged over an AC adapter and the USB was just for data. So the iPod photo can only put out very little power. But we're not even getting that. We're getting no card inserted. And I've ran into this one time before. A few months ago, I did another iPod um, photo video. And one of the things I tried in that was the Nokia N810 Linux tablet. And it did the same thing. It worked on every other device I threw at it, but I plug it into the iPod photo and I got no card inserted. So it's another example of how particular the iPod photo can be about what gets plugged into it. So unfortunately, it doesn't look like SCSI is going to work. Okay, so now we're gonna look at an IDE drive. This is a 20 gigabyte drive. And one of the popular USB adapters that are out there now are these little devices here. They can do 40 pin IDE, 44 pin, and SATA. But I'm not gonna be able to use this with the iPod photo because it's also a hub. You can literally attach three drives to this at one time and you can't use hubs on the iPod photo. So I had to go and find a really old device from the early 2000s that is just a straight 40 pin IDE to USB adapter. So let's see if that works. First thing I'll do is turn on the IDE drive, our USB cord here, wake up the iPod, goes into importation mode. Hey, there it is. No problems at all. And we can delete the files right on the drive so we have right access as well. And that's it. So we're one for two on this. It's a no for SCSI, but IDE works just fine. Short video, that's all for today. Please like and subscribe. I will be back very soon, and next time we're going to try out the floppy disk.